Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, my name is Kenyon Jones, and today we want to talk about mission. When I think about the word mission, I think about task. I think about something to be accomplished. I think about a goal to be achieved. I know when I went to school in California, I had the privilege of, of having some teammates from San Diego, Compton, um, you know, a little, a little part of uh, San Diego County called Vista, San Marcos, Oceanside, you know, Escondido, those places. And uh, one of the, the things that was so funny to me was the slang terms that were used um, out there and how different it was from the East Coast, me being from Brooklyn, you know. So I would always uh, have a teammate or two say something like, hey, hey, K, we fitting to go on a mission, you know what I'm saying? And for me... Uh, my definition of what mission is now definitely wasn't what that that definition for mission was then, you know, back in 99, 2000. And, you know, it, it, it was something different. It had nothing to do with uh, achieving a task. It had everything to do with getting into something uh, mischievous, you know. So I say all that to say um, in order to be mission-oriented, you have to know, you have to understand that when you step into this, this place of mission, that things will happen. You know, when you make up your mind to achieve a certain goal, when you make up your mind to get to a certain destination before a certain time frame, when you make it up in your mind that you will accomplish whatever task you set for yourself, you have to know that Things will happen, you know, um, things will pop up. There's going to be obstacles. You're going to have your fair share of adversity. You know, you'll have people support you, people not support you, uh, people uh, love you, hate you, all these different things. Uh, babies are born, people pass on, the cycle continues. So today, uh, well, not today, but last night, actually, uh, one of uh, uh, the, the, the great supporters of our mission, the Exodus 100, uh, passed on. You know, um, she battled uh, stage four cancer, um, you know, and battled it for as long as she could. But um, she passed on uh, last night and I was, you know, still I'm still in shock, but. It just lets me know how short life is. You know, one day we can be out and about doing whatever we're doing. And then the next day, literally, we cannot be here on earth anymore. You know, but one thing that I do take from uh, this individual who is so near and dear to our hearts, you know, as a, as a mission, uh, is that her life represented what she loved. You know, so it's, it's really no need to, to be sad. You know, I mean, of course, we're sad that she passed on. But in terms of the life that she lived, the legacy that she left, you know, the the effect she had on people, you know, and her being able to not only just affect people, you know, uh, with, with good words, but she was able to affect people, you know, in ways that w could transform their lives. You know, and I know for me personally, because of my relationship with her, you know, it, had, it has led to other relationships and it has transformed my life and transformed my circle of influence, you know, so um, her mission was, was you know, to help kids who are at risk, uh, women, you know, in all facets of life, because she, she believed in equal rights for women and, and women empowerment and women being able to uh, do anything, you know, they, they, they want to do, and also, uh, you know, veterans, you know, so these were the areas where she invested most of her time and she loved what she did, you know, and I had an opportunity to get to know her on a personal level. And I learned so much from her, you know, that it, it has allowed me to, to be able to troubleshoot relationships much better. You know, um, one of the things I learned from her was that it's important to work around people that you like, you know, and people that you care about, because if you do that, you know, you'll be able to sustain a greater level of success because now you don't have to worry about any type of underlying theme or any animosity or anything that could pop up, you know, to deter you from 
uh, focusing on what the goal is, you know, so uh, that was one of the things that I picked up from her, but she was, uh, you know, an amazing woman, uh, she really, really believed in, 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 in my work and in me, you know, and if it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't be where I am right now, you know, because she saw something in me that I didn't see at this point. You know, I always think of myself pretty highly, but in terms of, you know, starting a nonprofit organization and uh, doing what we're doing now, you know, maybe sometime in the future, I had no idea it would be happening for me like this at the age of 32. So uh, I am grateful. I'm, I'm excited. You know, I'm humbled by the opportunity that is before me. I know that I carry on my shoulders, you know, <coughs> people that have, uh, you know, gone before me and, you know, done great work. And now, you know, here it is. I, I, I come and um, I have to take on, you know, where they left off. And her legacy is is, 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 is amazing. You know, the, the work that she's done speaks for itself and more important than that she was a great person that was the most important part of it you know we get caught up sometimes in what we do and we don't necessarily reflect on you know who the person was or who the person is because we're so caught up in what they do and what their titles are you know so um so i'm grateful for uh, a mission i'm grateful for an opportunity to to serve um i had an opportunity to go back into my old neighborhood last night and uh you know we're getting ready to launch the exodus 100 program in that community which i'm super excited about and you know it's, it's just something about being able to do what you planned you know like you you have this idea in your head you write it down on paper and then you go do it and then it comes out and then it happens better than the way that you planned it you know it's something amazing about that and it's something to be said about planning your life you know so uh i just want you guys to know that whatever mission uh you're on you know whether that be a mission to uh lose a certain amount of weight or a mission to gain a certain amount of weight because that's another thing people don't talk about you know we got some people that want to gain weight in terms of you know gaining muscle or you know being able to get a little bit of you know body weight to them you know or you you might want to be on a mission to uh you know win the championship or pass a test whatever your mission is you know you have to know and you have to understand that as you're on the journey you know things are going to happen you know people are going to say things you, you'll be tested you'll be tested by people on the outside and you'll be tested by yourself on the inside so you have to decide okay is this mission really worth me putting my time effort and energy into it or am i just gonna you know let the first you know when that comes by blow me away and keep me from getting to my goal you know um, if the mission is important, then you're ready to withstand whatever comes because you know that once you withstand everything that comes, then you'll be able to stand solid on a solid piece of foundation on solid ground. So with that, I want to say thank you uh, for watching all over the country, uh, all over uh, the world. Thank you for all those who subscribe to Kenyon Jones on YouTube. And um, I, I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate the opportunity that I have to be able to speak into your life. And I hope that uh, what I'm saying here um, has some value and, and that if it does, that you pass it on to somebody else so that it may be valuable to them. Thank you for watching and God bless.